Um, so if you look right here, we got this abandoned house. No one's living there. It's open. Um, they got a, <laughs> there goes a cat. Uh, they got a next door lot. They've actually also here. Uh, there's a car door open back there. Uh, there's several cars here. They've got it tarped off. Um, you know, there's something going on back there. Who knows? Chop shop, whatever. There's a bunch of cars. One, two, three, four, five cars back there I can see. Uh, who knows what they're doing there. This house right here, yeah, they can't, and they put a tarp on it. That's probably going to stay there for a few years. They can't afford to fix the roof. All right, y'all, today I got a special treat for you. We're going to be taking you on location, on site to Detroit, baby. Detroit, if you're going to be investing in Detroit, the number one thing you need to understand about that market is the type of asset class you're buying in, right? Detroit is one of those tricky markets where... You know, you got A class, B class, C class, D class, F class, and the pricing is going to vary crazy big, right? And people get scammed or they get ripped off all the time. Out-of-state investors from like California, New York, expensive places, right? They get attracted to these low-cost properties in neighborhoods and places like Detroit, right? Uh, but you have to understand what it is you're buying, right? Detroit is a place where you could historically buy like dollar houses, right? But you got to understand what you're getting with that, right? Is this particular house I'm looking at a C area, a B area, a D area, right? These things are very important to you, the investor, okay? And, you know, what people are going to call a B versus a C versus a D, et cetera, you know, it's going to vary widely, right? So you got to get like a, like a base, like a baseline, right, of, of what it is you're looking at, right? So what I'm doing is uh, me and my partners out in Detroit, Logical Property Management, we're going to take you guys right now on a tour. You're going to be taken on a guided tour of a D-class neighborhood in Detroit, right? So I have literally uh, the owner of Logical Property Management, which, by the way, I have Logical Property Management's uh, contact info and everything in the show notes below. Anytime I do business in Detroit, they are the folks I work with, right? Uh, we are about to walk you guys through exactly what a D-class neighborhood in Detroit looks like. This type of advice, information, knowledge is pivotal to you guys making safe sound investments out of state in a place like detroit let's take a look all right here we are on a average well a less than average street in detroit we're going to use this as a tutorial for you guys investors out there wanting to invest in detroit um you know we've done our best to break it down by neighborhoods for you abcd classes um, so you understand but uh we're probably in a class d neighborhood right now and this is what we see that we don't want you to make a mistake on um, so if you look right here, we got this abandoned house. No one's living there. It's open. Um, they got a, <laughs> there goes a cat. Uh, they got a next door lot. They've actually also here. Uh, there's a car door open back there. Uh, there's several cars here. They've got it tarped off. Um, you know, there's something going on back there. Who knows? Chop shop. Whatever, there's a bunch of cars, one, two, three, four, five cars back there I can see. Uh, who knows what they're doing there. This house right here, yeah, they can't, and they put a tarp on it. That's probably going to stay there for a few years. They can't afford to fix the roof. And always keeping up with their lawns. You know, most of these houses are occupied. I don't know how many are rentals, but they're all in pretty bad shape. Yeah, look at this one. This one's not uh, in anything to write home about. And yes, you can pick these houses up cheap, but what kind of tenants do you think you're going to get? They're probably going to be 560 and below credit scores and uh, all kinds of tenant problems, payment problems. Uh, right there, look at that. That thing, that porch is falling apart. Debris there. Again, nobody's taking care of the lawns. If we come over here, this house is abandoned. Um, it's semi, they got the clear... Uh, security things on it so people can't access. It looks like a four unit apartment building over there. Uh, this one's a duplex. They put new lattice on the top of it, but you know, it looks like someone's trying to take care of that a little bit. It looks like newer windows have been put on it and a newer roof even. So, but again, this neighborhood, 
this street actually is uh, questionable. Uh, now, if you, and then the city probably tore down this house and it's just sitting here. You know, vacant lots have very little um, value in Class C areas of Detroit and Class D areas. Only A and B that you want to have a vacant lot in. But if we come down here, this is block by block. We're near Fullerton, by the way, obviously. But uh, looking at these houses over here, they're all brick. The lawns look a lot better kept, especially on this side of the street over here. You know, what a difference a block makes. And, and this can be Detroit sometimes. We Again, we've tried to help you guys out by, uh, hey, neighborhoods are class A, B, C, or D. And that gives you a leg up on being in better areas. But at the end of the day, before you buy anything, we always say double check with us so we can tell you if it's a good block or not before you sign that purchase contract and definitely before you buy it. So welcome to Detroit where you gotta invest wisely and have a great partner. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.